Anna's Quest. The world of author Dane Crams. I love her work. Dane Cram. Dane. I think that's a man. Dane. 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 Oh, I was thinking of Dame Cram. Oh, no, not Dame Crams. Dame Cram, yeah. It's Dane Cram. D A N. Dame, Dame Judy. Met the Queen. Uh, <laughs> Cranch. Dane Crams. I'm telling you, this is about her sexual discovery. Dane Cram. Oh, Grandpa. God, Ew. shut up. Just let us solve puzzles. This is a classic oh. Dane Crans technique. It's crams. Huh? I got a brain. Oh, telekinesis. Try it on the spoon. Bend the spoon. Telekinesis spoon. Watch this. All right, then. Here goes He nothing. invented that. Dane Koontz or whatever. This game, this Dane he, Crams. He invented that when he, because then the Matrix stole it. This game came out in like 2017. The game did. <laughs> Yeah. But the book came out in 2016, late 2016. Oh, well, that was years after the Matrix. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but it was in his head. He had it oh, up no, here. Oh, that's true. No, you're right about he that He had one. it up here. He copyrighted the thing in his head. Yeah, <laughs> he wrote it on a napkin yeah. in a Denny's. It's, like, it's copyrighted! <laughs> what should I do? Oh, the bear's talking. This is, by the way, this whole thing is a hallucination inside her head yeah. as she's strapped to a bed pissing herself. <laughs> Uh, in somebody's basement. Which is a hallucination inside of Dean Kranz's, uh... <laughs> Inception! <laughs> he also invented Inception. Yeah, yeah. Dane Kranz invented Inception. Last year. Last year, yeah. It was after- long after yeah. Inception came out. Yeah, but, but it had- he had written it written down. On the napkin. Uh, I got yeah. Inception! So often, uh, Dom Kroons yeah. goes into the theaters. <laughs> he loves to watch movies, even popular. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. It's like, words on flat things, a bunch of them. In a row, you mean all a, back to a back. Even a book. Shit! <laughs> Is there anything else around that has more of a point on? What about the more unicorn? More? Oh, unicorn. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Settled. I tried, yeah. I tried to do it earlier, and she said, "I don't know why I would do that." Dean Crams has got me hooked. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. It's that narrative experience. <laughs> Are we done with this? Yep. Exit game. Done. Oh, more games from. Uh, Dom Cronders. I got this idea for a space opera mm. starring Lars Galaxy Blower. Whoa, cool! Uh, he has to fight a guy with a helmet on his head mm. named Dorth Victor. Okay, this is sounding like Star Wars. This came. This came out. Shit. Yeah, dang it! <laughs> oh, it's like Harry Potter. How can you tell? Look, you're in a wizarding world. That's Snape. Teaching you how to make potions. Why does he look but so? But that's not what he wants to do. He wants to teach defense of them to dark starts. <laughs> I know his. I know what he wants. Why is Harry Potter so old? And why does he moonwalk everywhere? <laughs> I got places to go, people to see. You can call me the HP. Uh, Hori Pitter is cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You just gave up on magic. He's just hitting him now. <laughs> Horatio's up there like, fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna fade out, fade out, and it's gonna go, written by Dan Kronz. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> He's a boy, and he goes to, like, a school, uh, something. You mean, like, Harry Potter. Shit! <laughs>